In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the amazing brand new group by function to calculate sum, average, and percentage of total sales by products and payment. Therefore, let's get started. We're going to use this sample data set, which is officially stored as an Excel table. In the table design contextual ribbon tab, I can see sales as the meaningful table name. We're going to come to this cell J2 to execute the formula, and we're going to see the amazing conditional formatting that's going to apply to our result dynamically. Let's alter the formula in cell J2. I'm going to type in equals and call the group by function. The first argument is the row fields. I'm going to supply this product and the payment type column. So I'm going to select two clicks to include the name of the headings. And then I'm going to put in a comma. For the values, I'm going to select the sales amount column, including the heading. So click twice, one, two, and then put in a comma. Now for the function argument, I'm going to use the H stack function. And then for the array one, I'm going to call the sum function. And I'm going to put in a comma. For the array two, I want to call the average function. I'm going to put in a comma. For the array three, I'm going to call the percent of function and put in the closing bracket for the h tag. And then I'm going to put in a comma to activate the field headers. Now I'm going to choose yes and show that is option three at the bottom. Press the tab key and I'm going to put in a comma. Now for the next argument is the total depth. I'm going to specify the ground and subtotals at the top. So double click the minus two. And then I'm going to close the bracket for the group by and then control enter. Amazing. So we have the sum, average, and percentage of total sales by products and payments. And of course, we can see the conditional formatting applied automatically to the headings. And of course, we can see for the subtotals, we have this red fill color. And of course, we have the white font color. And of course, for the next group, that is the laptop for the subtotal, we have the amazing purple color. And of course, for the microwave product, we have the green color. So this is basically how we can alter the formula to perform this kind of operation. Now, don't forget the formula spilled to all these new running cells. So this is dynamic array formula. The formula originally lives in cell J2. So I trust you in this video. If you do, like, share with your friends and comment. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.